if everyone understood that the U.S. deliberately provoked this war. War is the single worst thing humans do. The most insane, the most cruel, the most destructive, the most traumatic, the least sustainable. Those who knowingly choose to steer humanity into more war when it could be avoided are the worst people in the world, without exception. And there are mountains of extensively documented evidence that that's exactly what the drivers of the U.S. centralized empire did in Ukraine. That's why so many Western analysts and experts spent years warning that the actions of Western powers were going to lead Ukraine into disaster. And it's why U.S. empire managers keep openly boasting about how much their proxy warfare in Ukraine advances U.S. interests. They knowingly steered Ukraine into war to advance their own geostrategic interests, while being fully aware that no powerful nation would ever permit the kinds of foreign threats the West was amassing on its borders. And they intervened in the early days of the war to prevent the outbreak of peace. If there was widespread awareness of these facts, the U.S. war machine would lose support around the world, not just for its actions in this one war, but for all future wars as well. Which is why so much energy goes into making sure this does not become a widespread understanding. The official mainstream narrative throughout the Western world is that Putin invaded Ukraine solely because he is evil and hates freedom. That's the actual, literal belief about this war that the Western political media class works to instill in the Western public. Anyone who counters this self-evidently ridiculous assessment with facts and evidence gets branded a Russian agent and swarmed with pro-U.S. trolls on social media and loses all hope of securing a major platform in any mass media. And it's important to notice that shutting down all mature adult analysis of the events which led to the war in this way does not actually save a single Ukrainian life. It doesn't make Russia any more likely to stop fighting and withdraw its troops. All it does is prevent people from seeing the U.S. empire for what it really is. It isn't being done to protect Ukrainians. It's done to protect the empire. The worst thing that could possibly happen to the information interests of the U.S. empire would be for a critical mass of people to become aware that all this death and destruction in Ukraine could have been avoided by the U.S. centralized empire behaving less aggressively on Russia's doorstep, and that those aggressions were instead increased with the goal of advancing U.S. strategic interests on the world stage. If everyone really deeply understood that all this suffering, all these mountains of human corpses, could simply not have happened if the U.S. hadn't been feverishly focused on securing planetary domination at all cost, the U.S. would no longer be able to manufacture consent for its agendas. It would no longer be able to whip up international support for its actions against its enemies. It would no longer be able to persuade the world to help prop up the hegemony of the dollar. But because the U.S. empire has the most advanced soft power apparatus that has ever existed, hardly anyone understands this. Not even the people who understand that the West provoked this war have deeply grappled with exactly what that means on a visceral, emotional level, for the most part. It's more of a superficial intellectual understanding for most, without really grokking into the horror of it all, really letting the enraging nature of what the U.S. Empire did wash over them. The West was deceived into supporting yet another evil American war, this time with the added dimension of nuclear brinkmanship threatening the life of every terrestrial organism. All to suck Moscow into another draining military quagmire, so war plans can be safely drawn up against China while advancing U.S. energy interests in Europe and building support for U.S. military alliances. It's almost too evil to take in. There aren't really words for it. And that's one of the reasons it's hard to get people to take in exactly what happened with Ukraine. People have a hard time wrapping their minds around the idea that anyone could be that evil, much less the government we've all been trained by Hollywood to think of as sane and humanitarian. 
It's about as monstrous a thing as you could possibly come up with. Yet here it is, still unfolding in all its blood-spattered glory. Our task, then, is to help people see this and understand it, not just intellectually, but emotionally. Help people really grasp deep down the horrors the U.S. Empire unleashed upon our world with the war in Ukraine. The suffering, the death, the existential danger. We can't fight the empire on our own, but we can each do what we can to help weaken the consent manufacturing machine it uses to rule and terrorize the world. <laughs>